Today's Fast Friday is going to deal with artificial intelligence. You know, what physicist Stephen Hawking called the worst event in the history of our civilization. Yeah, let's go through some photos using it. Hi everyone and welcome to pal to tech There is a new app in the Apple Mac Store that promises to use artificial intelligence to cull through your photos. According to the developer, the artificial intelligence in the app will filter out objectively bad quality photos. And yes, it will work with Fujifilm RAW files, which is why we're doing this today. So I have here the app open on my Mac and I also have some photos that I took. The app is meant for people, in particular group shots shots of people. So if you're a nature photographer, you know, hoping that this app is going to tell you which is the best waterfall you took, not going to happen on here. People only. I'm going to import some photos right now. The minute I begin importing them, it starts analyzing them automatically. You see that right now? It's analyzing them. You see the little red circle? Those are groups of photos. And if I double click on them, it will open up the grouping. As you can see, one of them is already starred. That is the photo that this app thinks is the best out of this group of photos. So basically it thinks this photo is better than this one. In this case here, it shows this as being the best of all the photos in this group. Look, her eyes are half open right there, so the artificial intelligence rejected it and went with this one instead. So when you're in the program, you have a filter right here, which is face capture quality. The higher you crank it up, the more strict the program is in trying to find the best face. The other two sliders right here have to do with grouping. So for example, similarity sensitivity, if I crank that one up, it has just three types of similarity. So in other words, this type right here, these are all of the models it's standing roughly in the same place. Let's take a look at another group here. Okay, same thing here. Now, again, the facial recognition needs help because there is only one model in this photo shoot and it considers it two different people. And the similarity sensitivity slider actually is helpful because suppose I wanted to just quickly group together those photos taken where the model is sitting at the table outside. Well, if I double click on this, it's pretty good. It nailed all of the ones that she was at the table. You see that? But if I go to this one here, it's the close up shots. And what's interesting is this was the shot it thought was the best one right here versus say this shot. And if you look at these two shots kind of together, you can see, what do you think? Which do you think between these two is the better shot? Do you think the artificial intelligence was correct in choosing this one over this one? And when you're all finished, you have the option to export by clicking this button right here, and it will make a copy of those pics, so to speak, and export those in the raw format. Let's mess with it for a second. I picked landscape, okay? So landscape now, it grouped them all together, right? Is one similar one, but let's see which one it liked the best. It liked this one the best. And I definitely do not agree with that assessment at all. But as I said earlier, it's not meant for landscape photography. Overall, I think this app needs a lot of work. I noticed that there is no help file. There's no ability to set preferences in the program menu. Also, it would be really helpful to have a drag and drop feature to bring the photos straight into the app. And most importantly, some kind of plug-in utility so that you could directly connect as part of your workflow, this app into Lightroom or Cap one. Bottom line, I don't think it's ready yet for full-time professional use, but I do see a huge amount of potential where this technology is headed. That being said, I have to commend the developer of this app, and even with his limited resources and staff, I noticed that the photo thumbnails load blazing fast in this app, and the filtering and the sorting features are much faster than anything I've seen from Adobe. Well, thank you so much for watching, and I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to give it the like and subscribe. And don't forget, the giveaway ends tomorrow. That's Saturday night at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. If you've not already submitted your entry for the free camera slider, be sure to do so before then. I'll have a link down below in the description of this video. In the meantime, have a wonderful weekend. I'll see you next week.